Well, you guys, got another video here for you. Major problems with the latest Windows Update 22 H2. Now, if you've already installed this update, you may be receiving uh, problems like blue screen of death, and you may also be having issues with uh, frame drops in your gaming. So if you see something like this coming soon, Windows 11 version 22 H2, then don't worry, you haven't installed it on your PC. There will be a little button that says click here to install. Don't do that because there's major problems with it right now. So I'm going to show you here, even if I click check for updates, it's not going to give me this button to install it. Now, if you do want to install uh, 22 H2 on your computer and it's not showing the button here, then you can do by using the update assistant. And uh, if you do that, it's going to download it and install it. Now, if you're going to be doing a fresh install of Windows as well, it's going to install the version 22H2 on your computer. So you may want to download an older version if you don't want to use this version right now, because there is quite a few issues uh, with it right now. If you're not sure whether you've installed it already, you can type WinVer in your search box and it will bring up this little about windows here and it should tell you what version you're running. You can see here this version is 22H2. This is on a virtual machine. So I won't be installing that on my main system because I know there is going to be issues. So let's just take a look here at what Microsoft has to say about this issue. Now, if you check the link in the video description, it will give you a full rundown of all of the latest issues and notifications about Windows 11 version 22 H2 and other versions as well. So depending on what version you're running, uh, will determine what sort of issues they're having with that version. Some issues are carried over from previous versions, but as you can see here, it will give you some information about uh, some of the issues that they are having with this release. Now you would think by now that Microsoft would learn, but I do think they're using the users to actually test their product. So once you get this installed, you're gonna probably end up with some sort of issue if you have the Intel SST driver. It says here, Windows 11 devices with the uh, affected Intel uh, SST driver might receive an error with a blue screen. So that means you're gonna get a blue screen of death and it can end up uh, constantly blue screening, which is not good. So if you've got that type of issue, then roll back. I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. Now the KB5012170 might fail to install and you might receive error code 0x800F0922 error. I did make a video on this the other day and I'll show you that in a second, but that is basically a security update that causes uh, the secure boot. You need to disable secure boot to be able to install the update and then you can uh, toggle that back on. But you can see here going through the months, you can see there is other issues that have been carried over from previous months. And this one, the secure boot uh, DBX issue has been going on for a, a little while, as you can see here. But there is a workaround and I've made a video showing you how to do that. I'll quickly show you my channel here. It's called Fix Windows Update Problems in Windows 10. But this is also relevant for Windows 11 as well. So whether you've got Windows 10 or Windows 11 and you're getting this error code coming up here, then I made a video showing you how to resolve and fix that issue. And there's some other things you can check out there. So check out my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, and also give the video a thumbs up uh, on that video, and it will help other people see the video. Now, Bleeping Computer uh, released an article explaining about the issue with gaming, and it's to do with the NVIDIA uh, drivers, as you can see here. If you read through, I'll leave the link in the video description. Basically, NVIDIA have released a beta version of the driver to try to rectify the issue if you're running Windows 11 22 H2. Some people have said basically if you're getting 100 frames per second, this drops down to 30 frames per second and you end up getting stuttering and spikes and other issues if you are running this latest version of Windows 11 update. You can see here the NVIDIA customer service have released a link for the download here. Personally, I wouldn't bother downloading and installing a beta driver on your system. I would rather roll back to a previous version of Windows 11. And the reason for that is because this is not an actual fix. It's just a workaround. 
and you can see here it is a beta driver so it's not even been fully tested and again you can still have other issues uh, with this update until Microsoft release a full uh, patch for this update and these fixes uh, to fix these problems then I really won't bother updating to it and this is the problem when people jump the gun or people advise people to update straight away there is no need to update Windows all the time straight away you're not in risk and you're not going to have any major issues so if you do want to roll back you're going to have to do it very quickly because you only have 10 days go to system and then recovery here in the settings panel and when you click on this, you should see a go back uh, area here. Now, if you do see a go back area, it means you're still eligible to roll back to the previous version of Windows, what you was using before. And this is what I'd advise you to do. If you do take this choice, then make sure you back up your data first, just in case something goes wrong. Because sometimes Windows doesn't get this right and you can end up in a reboot loop where you're having issues after a rollback and you can't go forward and you can't go back and you're going to end up having to do a fresh install. I've seen it happen before, so be warned. Make sure you back up all your data before attempting any sort of rollback. Sometimes it goes smoothly and you have no issues at all and you can roll straight back. But with these sort of updates, you've got to be a bit careful. If you don't see the go back there, it means your time period has passed and you can't roll back your PC and you would have to do a fresh install with the older version of Windows if you can find one. So if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card, I would definitely hold off updating to this latest update right now. I'll just give it a few more weeks to see whether Microsoft uh, roll out updates and patches for this to fix it. You can check that link in the video description. It will tell you whether this issue has been fixed also, you can check your NVIDIA uh, drivers if they suddenly release a newer driver, which isn't in beta, and it does fix this issue for Windows 11 22H2, then obviously it's safe to roll out that update if that problem has been resolved. Anyway, just be really careful with these sort of updates. There's no need to rush out and update straight away. Uh, there's plenty of time. You're not at risk, as I've said before. Some people jump the gun and love to get these updates straight away but you're just being a guinea pig and testing uh, these uh, updates for Microsoft. You might as well wait a few more weeks until you roll the update out and make sure it's fully working properly. Let other people have all the TV problems and you can just sit back on your uh, working system until it's been fully tested and then you can roll out that update knowing that it's going to be working properly rather than having all these headaches and having to roll back and go through all of this palaver with these updates by installing them too early. Anyway, with that said, I hope this video has been some sort of help to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.